everyone, I'm Julia. I'm 17 and I'm currently finishing my senior year at Oak Park and River Forest High School. I used to play on the windmills for about eight years and I'm definitely a windmill and Oak Parker at heart. I've also been a part of the Practice Pro family for a really long time now. I started taking individual lessons with Abby when I was nine or ten, I think. And from day one, Abby has always taught me one, you need to practice if you want to be good, which is what we're doing today. And two, you do not have to be super tall or throw it extremely hard to be successful. Take it from me, I'm 5'2", stopped growing. My speeds have pretty much maxed out at 54 after tons of strength training. And I've still been able to be successful because I've been able to hit my spots and spin the ball. So to bring it full circle through my whole pitching experience and from all I've learned, I'm going to be showing you guys some really great accuracy drills and a little bit of workouts to keep you motivated during this time. Okay, also, you don't have an excuse not to do this because I will be doing this inside right now because lol, when I wanted to film, it decided to snow mid-April. But that's okay because we are improvising and we're going to do it in my basement now. Also, I didn't have a catcher available, so I'll be doing this alone. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the accuracy workout, which should take about 20 minutes. And what we're going to be doing is using visuals besides a home plate to help you gain command of your pitches pretty quickly and also just really encourage you to focus in on every pitch and every spot you're trying to hit. Okay, so first you want to get a round or just small object like a baseball, tennis ball. I'll be using some old 11-inch softballs. All right, so I'm just going to establish my home plate here. That's like step one. Mine's imaginary. We're just going to go with it. Then I'm going to take my three objects, and I'm just going to drop them at kind of like different points in front of the plate. Awesome. I love it. Looks good. Now the part you've all been waiting for. Okay, so now using these as your targets, you're going to pitch over each ball. And so basically rotate through each spot one after the other for 40 pitches in total. <sighs> okay, I'm like low-key out of breath because I ended up doing about 15 of those pitches because I did a lot of takes. But don't worry, because I'm all warmed up for the fitness portion of today's agenda. All right, first we're gonna do flutter kicks for 40 seconds each in three sets. Okay, and then do that three times. Next up, classic side plank. 30 seconds each side, three sets. All right, so now we're going to do slow mountain climbers, where basically when you kick your leg up, you're just going to hold it for three seconds, and then you're going to do eight, eight on each side for three sets. Good old push-up position here, and then you're just going to kick up each leg, Hold for three seconds, and then back. Okay, and then the last thing is jump roping for one minute at a time, three times. I do not have a jump rope, but that's okay, because it's really the jumping motion. That was a really fast clip of me doing Renegade because honestly, I found that the best workout these days are learning TikTok dances. So that's been my life. Anyway, peace and blessings, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all stay safe and well in your self-isolation pods. Hope the experience is everything and more. And don't forget, do not mistake a day off of school for a day off of practice. Peace, love, and happiness.